Good morning to you. Hope, uh, here we are in the middle of the week, and hope you've had a good week so far as we creep ever so closer uh, to Christmas. And uh, remind you that we'll be back on uh, Facebook Live tonight at uh, 6 30, uh, doing our uh, Wednesday evening uh, Bible study. And I hope you can uh, join us uh, for that uh, again on, on our uh, Facebook page. Uh, Poplar Grove Baptist Church, uh, or on our YouTube channel, um, either one uh, will be there uh, for uh, our prayer meeting. Uh, but in the meantime, get your Bible, and we'll go back uh, to the 44th Psalm, and uh, we're looking at a passage, I think, with a lot of, honestly, a lot of application. Uh, again, I, I think, uh, obviously, uh, the primary uh, focus of this, uh, of this particular psalm is the psalmist uh, is praying uh, for, the, uh, for the healing, the restoration uh, of, uh, of his nation. But I believe there's also, uh, certainly we can carry that into our personal life as well, uh, because many times, uh, even when our nation may not be um, overwhelmed, we ourselves, uh, personally, individually, uh, may feel overwhelmed. Uh, and then, uh, specifically in the verses we're going to look at today, uh, is one of, I think, uh, the greatest um, principles uh, of prayer uh, that we need uh, to learn uh, as believers. Uh, we've talked about this several times uh, through the first uh, 43 Psalms, um, and it, it is an it is a extremely important lesson uh, for us uh, to learn uh, in our in our walk with the Lord and our prayer life, and we're going to see it revealed to us again. Uh, in these verses, uh, as we pick up in verse 9, and that is that when we pray, it is okay uh, to tell God uh, how we feel, uh, to share with him our heart. Now, uh, let me be careful here and say that there is, uh, I think, always uh, the matter of reverence and respect, um, just like uh, if we were talking to our earthly parents. Um, th there's nothing wrong. I, I don't, most parents, and I realize we live in a, uh, a fallen world with a lot of strange, but strange people, uh, and, and quite frankly, poor parents, but uh, most parents, if, uh, if their child came to them, and in a you know in a respectful way, uh, said you know I disagree or I feel like this. Um, most parents would uh, would appreciate that I think and listen uh, to that child. Now again, if they go at it in a uh, in a disrespectful manner, uh, screaming and shouting and stomping their feet, well that's a different story. Uh, but uh, when we approach God in a reverential, uh, respectful manner, uh, I think it is perfectly okay. And the psalmist ha have shown us that uh, repeatedly uh, in these first 43 psalms that uh, they pour out their heart to God. Uh, and so that's what we're going to look at today is uh, the psalmist uh, is telling God that he feels rejected and uh, and feels and that, that God himself uh, had a bad abandoned him. Uh, and again, they, they've been, um, you know, that, that was the way the people felt. That's the way the nation felt, uh, that God had abandoned him, uh, abandoned them, uh, and they didn't understand why, that uh, that, that God himself, uh, what they were feeling was that God had let the nation down, not that the other, that the enemy had defeated them, uh, but that God was uh, responsible, that he had uh, turned his back on him. And so they're going to pour out their heart uh, to the Lord, uh, in, uh, in, in these, uh, in, in these verses, uh, you, we see that beginning in verse, uh, verse nine, thou hast cast off, um, and, and let's just read it the way it, it, thou hast cast off, thou hast put us to shame and thou goest f not forth with our armies. Uh, and so they, they're, again, they're letting God know how they feel. Uh, and that's a pretty strong charge. And yet, uh, we don't read that God 
God struck them with a lightning bolt. And so uh, it is okay uh, to tell God how we feel. They tell him, we feel like you uh, have turned your back on us. You feel like we feel like it was you that put us to shame. Uh, you didn't go out and, um, and, and fight. Uh, with uh, our armies. Uh, continue to look at verse 10. You uh, make us to turn back from the enemy and they which hate us spoil for themselves. You have given us like sheep appointed for meat and has scattered, scattered us among the heathen. Uh, and so we see here that, uh, again, the, these, uh, the, the nation is pouring out their heart. They're telling God, uh, you abandoned us. You left us um, for dead. Um, and the only, and so, you know, whether or not that was correct, that was the way they felt. Uh, and, and um, you know, one of the things I've learned about uh, over, uh, over time is when somebody tells you, I feel uh, so-and-so. Well, you can't argue with that, really, because that's how they feel. Uh, you know, if they tell you that's what I think or that's what I believe, well then, uh, but when they say, I feel this, and, and they felt uh, like God had uh, abandoned them, that he was responsible. He, he abandoned them like sheep uh, appointed for meat. You, you know, you left us for steak, uh, they say. And so uh, they, again, they, uh, they, uh, they're pouring out their heart uh, to God. And, and as we continue, says, Thou sellest thy people for naught, and dost not increase thy wealth uh, by their price. Um, basically, uh, it's, um, the, the image is pretty clear there. You, you, sold us, uh, you sold us out, and you didn't make a profit. Uh, in, in other words, uh, they're saying, you, and, and you did it for no reason. Um, is there, again, this is their opinion um this is how they feel uh that that god had uh, sold them and, and didn't really even get anything out of it uh you know at least if you if you're going to abandon us abandon us for uh for good reason is what they're saying uh verse 13 thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors and a scorn and a decision a derision to them that uh, are round about us. Thou makest us uh, a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me. For the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason uh, of the enemy and avenger. Uh, and so you see in, in these um, eight verses uh, how the psalmist, uh, the, the, how the nation is just pouring out uh, their heart. Um, I'm not saying they're correct or incorrect um, because truthfully, um, don't know all the circumstances behind this psalm, what exactly was going on. But what we do know is this is how they felt and they went to God and they told him uh, how they felt. They'd become a reproach, an embarrassment uh, among their neighbors and uh, a byword. People were, uh, you know, making jokes about them and, and laughing uh, about them. Their name, they were a punchline uh, to, a, to a joke. Uh, we are, con we, we look confused and I, we're, we're ashamed. Um, and, and so, they are, you know, they're just overwhelmed uh, by this, and and they they don't know. Uh, they're confused. Uh, they're discouraged. They're embarrassed uh, by what has uh, happened uh, and, and what God is allowing, or not even allowing, but causing uh, them. Uh, to go through. And so, uh, again, my, my point here, and, and we could go back and we could analyze uh, each of these individual statements and talk about uh, what was going on. But again, what I want you to see uh, in, in these verses is that, um, that, that God, um, and, and I'm going to go ahead and get ahead of myself. In verse 17, uh, they say, all this has come upon us, yet have we not forgotten thee? Uh, and so they, they're going to continue uh, to follow God. And that's what I said a while ago about uh, sharing your uh, your feelings with God, but they still did it with a manner of respect and, and, and reverence uh, for who he is. Even when we don't understand what he's doing or why he's doing it, 
um, or how he's doing it, um, we still have the freedom uh the 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 opportunity uh to go uh go to our lord with those feelings he invites us he encourages us even to come boldly uh before him casting our cares our burdens our requests uh on him uh and so this morning uh again uh, without really digging in all the, the 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 meaning of the situation at the time uh but just seeing uh what was going on with 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 this nation as they poured out their heart uh to God I, I want you this morning uh to learn that about prayer uh you don't have to dance around in prayer again you got to be respectful you got to be remember who you're talking to uh but um you, you you we can God invites us he encourages he wants us uh, to have that kind of relationship uh, with him where we uh, can pour out our hearts uh, to him in our prayer life and so this morning uh, as we wrap this up today uh, let me encourage you whatever burden whatever uh, whatever affliction however you're feeling um, feel free uh, I encourage you and God invites you uh, to talk to him about it. Uh, he's a good, good father. He's a loving father uh, who cares uh, about the feelings uh, of his children. Let me just uh, kind of close with this question for you. Um, you have a child, and that child has something uh, that is bothering them, something that is uh, causing them distress or pain. Uh, wouldn't you want them to come talk to you about it? Again, with, with the respect you're due as a parent, but would you would you want them to come? Wouldn't wouldn't you prefer uh, that they come talk to you rather than uh, brood over it, or rather um, you know whether they let that work on their mental condition uh, and, and get them depressed and discouraged? Wouldn't you prefer uh, that your child come and talk to you? Well, the Bible tells us that God. Uh, it says, if if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more does our Father uh, know for us? And so uh, this morning, if you as a parent would know uh, that you'd want your child to share their heart and their burden, um, don't you think our good Father does? And so today, whatever's burdening you, whatever's keep getting you down, uh, let me encourage you, it's okay. Uh, go talk to your father. Uh, let him know. Let me just remind you, he already knows. Uh, he knows all, sees all. He just wants you to talk to him about it. Uh, so feel free uh, to lay your burdens at the feet uh, of our Lord. All right, you have a good day. And uh, don't carry those burdens too far. You give them uh, to the Lord and let him uh, take care of them for you. All right, have a great day.